have you ever felt like you're just making images for the sake of making images? Or maybe you felt a lack of direction or even struggle with motivation? Unfortunately, I don't have the secret to those questions, as even the most successful of artists will go through this at one point or another in their photographic journey. With that being said though, I can at least help by passing on some advice on how I cope, and that's with short form projects. Though before we go any further, this method may not work for everyone. However, if you're able to take away and utilize even a little something, I hope that will alleviate some of these concerns and help with answering those questions. When I first started getting serious about photography, I ended up making images of landscapes. Living out in the countryside and being somewhat of an introvert, I kind of felt most comfortable in this area and actually enjoyed that side of photography. I'm also thankful for this, as I probably explored more of my local environment in the space of two years from picking up a camera than I had in 30. I also found a local company that was doing a weekly Twitter competition, which also encouraged me to go out and try and capture that winning shot. However, as the weeks progressed and my photos not getting picked by the judges, I found a change in my opinion of photography and questioned the purpose of why I was making those images. Having that kind of constant feeling of dejection and comparing myself to those that did actually get noticed. And I couldn't come to any reasonable conclusion other than just making pretty images for the weekly competition instead of making them for myself. I continued anyway as I still wanted to develop my skills. However, it got to a point where it wasn't enough for me to continue going in that direction. Photo books have always interested me as I enjoy their tactility and presentation, which you don't always get when looking at photos on a digital screen. And I'd say, don't be afraid to take inspiration from others. Photo books are a great way to delve into how the photographer's minds work and to see how their process translates into those images. It's also a way of seeing what fascinates them. I've always had an interest in reportage and street photography, so I was drawn to creating projects around this genre. I was also influenced by Alex Soth's songbook, where he travelled across the US with author Brad Zeller. During these travels, Soth and Zeller pretended to be news reporters, where Soth was the photographer, and Zeller would then write accompanying text. From what I recall, there wasn't too much planning, and they just used social media and other ad websites looking for places and events to visit. I'd always considered starting a project. However, even the thought of starting one can be daunting, especially when you hear how long it can take for some people to finish them. Though not all projects need to last years or consist of hundreds of images. For example, you can create a one day project or even stretch it out to a week if you feel that there's too much pressure to finish something like that within a short time frame. I think probably the main thing to consider when taking on a project is to think about what interests you. This probably sounds obvious, but if it's something that you're genuinely passionate and interested in, then that'll also factor into your motivation and progress. Maybe this is also a good time to try out something that you've not had the opportunity to before. This could be a process or even a piece of equipment. For me, I've always been scared of using flash, even though I've really wanted to incorporate it into my photography. After seeing and reading about the somewhat spontaneous process of Soth and Zeller, I thought this could be an interesting starting point and a way for me to not take on too much at once and an opportunity to use my flash and step out of my comfort zone. So I'd go onto Facebook and other websites searching for events happening in my local area and set myself the task of creating a set of images as if I was on assignment. If this is a process that could be interesting to you, then it's up to you what events you pick. But what I will say is, don't be put off by the quote unquote mundane looking events. For me, it wasn't necessarily the event itself, but the people that go to them I found interesting. Events such as the fair, local landmarks celebrating milestones, or gatherings and other such things. This process also gave me a soft deadline, as I knew I had to come away with a set of images, as there was no coming back again the next day. 
I liked this as it made me make as many images as I could and not have that mindset of, I will just come back again another time. I also attended a Viking reenactment event, which I enjoyed so much I actually sought out other future events similar to that. You never know, you may even find an event that you also enjoy so much that you keep going back to, to create a larger body of work. I think another part of creating projects, finished or not, is to always see your results in physical print form. I know this is probably mentioned a lot amongst photographers, and I too am guilty of probably ignoring this step. I guess it can sometimes be costly and easy to just see those images on a screen. Though whenever I have had the opportunity to print something, I've always had a better appreciation of my own work. Other than photography, I also quite enjoyed vlogging and writing about my experiences. Because I was pretending that I was on assignment and taking inspiration from Alex Soth and Brad Zeller again, I decided to create this. I understand something like this might be a bit of a stretch for some, but I think it's about presenting your images in a way that helps show part of a story through a sequence of those images, whether that's a small flipbook or even a zine. I would encourage you to try, even if it's just one image that you really like, but only do it for you. Start small, maybe something close to your home or dear to your heart. Don't take on too much from the start, and I'm sure it'll develop over time. You never know, it may take you towards directions which you might have not imagined from the beginning.